Clay calls Dre Mr. Everything. Nothing but love from the longtime teammates. Welcome Golden Warriors, if you are new here, subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell, so you won't miss any new news. And let's go to the video. It's no secret that Draymond Green has been having a spectacular season, and is one of the main reasons the Golden State Warriors have stayed afloat despite some early season struggles. He's averaging his highest points per game total since 2017-18, ranks 9th in the NBA in assists per game, is sporting his second highest three-point percentage, and has the highest field goal percentage and true shooting percentage of his career, by a mile. All while doing that thing on defense that we've grown so spoiled by accustomed to him doing. His season has been an absolute joy to watch, and it remains astonishing how many different things he can do on the court. But don't take my word for it, take Clay Thompson's. And for the Warriors who made it this far, I ask you to leave your like. Not long after Green held the floor during a team meeting that focused in part on how Thompson needed to take better shots, Clay had effusive praise for his teammate. Does it all, Thompson said. He's Mr. Everything. He rebounds, he guards five positions, he hits the open man. Steph, as much as he changed the game from the point guard position, I think Draymond has also changed the game with what a modern-day power forward looks like. While Clay's praise of Draymond is certainly honest, it is fair to wonder if it's a little tactical, too. Joe Lacob has said the Warriors won't eclipse $400 million in total payroll obligations, which would make it impossible for the team to keep their five large contracts, Green, Thompson, Steph Curry, Andrew Wiggins, and Jordan Poole. Between the fact that Green could become a free agent next offseason, if he opts out of the final year of his deal, and his violent incident with Poole, many have assumed that he'll be the odd man out this time next year. The Warriors stars have put a little public pressure on ownership before, and perhaps Thompson is doing a little bit of that here, too. Either way, two things are clear, Clay is a fan of Dre's game, and Green is one hell of a basketball player.